What's going on my crew? This is Jay. Welcome to another episode of Jay's Adventures. And in today's episode, we're going to walk around, talk a little bit, and possibly build a road. But, uh, first of all, let's get to the walking and talking. Um, in last episode, we kind of looked at an idea for building the tree. And I realized one of the mistakes that I made that made the tree look really gross is... I started off really big and I didn't go smaller so I think if I went smaller um, as the tree went up a little bit the trunk um, then when I put those leaves in it would look a lot better uh, some of you guys were saying uh, you need to make it taller which I know that's definitely true it does need to be taller but we're also talking about some serious need for leaves and stuff like that so um, I just wanted to show you guys what I've done on the quarry so this is the quarry, obviously, and uh, I would need to beef up this tree, but I like the idea that I've went with here where it's like the roots are kind of crawling down um, because they wanted to keep the tree there for whatever reason or it hasn't fallen in. But there's also this like little spot here that they kind of dug out. Maybe that's where they found the andesite uh, and then they started digging through and that's when they found the major pit here. So uh, I still need to work on getting some stairs in or something. Um, but for the most part, I wanted to show you guys how I did this. Um, I made a very rickety feeling. The sun going down. Is the sun already going down? You gotta be kidding me. Start an episode, sun go down. Come on. Uh, a lot of you guys really enjoyed the last few episodes where we were building some of these houses and stuff. Um... And I wanted to thank you because a lot of you were like, Jay, those houses look really good. Uh, this town looks really nice. And I really appreciate that. Um, I have been working hard. It's my dream to do this stuff. Not necessarily for you guys. But um, it's my dream to like be building and, and making art. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit of story. Um, uh, after I show you what we're building. So stay tuned for that. Um, okay, so we got this little rickety place and also right here a little bit rickety. Maybe I should add a little bit of uh, fencing right here. Um, what I really love is I kind of like how this bridge is over here. Maybe we'll add a little tunnel here. Uh, but this goes down. Look at all the andesite we have to mine out. Um, I may not pull the andesite from here. And that's because I want it for the looks. But I went, this was, I actually dug straight down in squares. And then I went and started to sort of break things up a little bit. And I think it looks pretty good with the exception of this. But I'm fine with this being a straight wall because I want it to kind of stay um, like this. To make it look like they didn't worry about anything. Um, hold on guys, one second. Sorry about that. Okay. Hi. What's going on, buddy? You stuck? You're dead. Um. So, anyways, I really wanted to go with a rickety feeling here. I wanted to kind of be like, I don't know, a little unsafe with this, but at the same time, a little bit safe. That's why I've got this little bridge. You guys can see we've got this big hole here. This still goes up to the top. You can get the sunlight. Um, and then we've got this nice little lava flow here. But the best part, and this is what I love the most about this, I'm going to tunnel around this, and we're going to get this really nice pillar that's going to be based off of this. So all this is going to go away, and we're going to get a really cool-looking pillar. And, and my voice cracks. Um... <laughs> And uh, what I want to do, look at all this andesite. This is like the perfect thing. I swear to you, I didn't know about all this andesite underneath. I don't know if just andesite is really common or what, but oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, so also one thing that we've got is we've got, I think it's over here maybe. There's just so many big, big rooms, and that's one of the things that I think is super cool. Um, right here, we've got a mine shaft, 
and I want to work on this mine shaft, making it look really, really pretty, uh, and making it integrated into the um, rest of the the whole mine shaft thing. So that's gonna be fun, I'm thinking. But we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna go back up to the surface and I'll meet back with you guys in just a second. Okay, so I was talking to you guys in a couple episodes ago, I think it was, about a road wrapping around. And I wanna sort of get to work to that on that today on camera. Uh, some of you guys may be thinking that sounds really boring, um, but I'm gonna try and uh, do this and make it fun by telling you guys a little bit of a story. Um, based off of me being a kid and what I'm doing now and what I want to do in the future um, but something that happened to me when I was a kid uh, that could have changed my life and could have made me not do this um, and that is when I was in kindergarten I was not really like, you don't have cool kids there but I wasn't like bad or anything like that I, or a loser or anything not that again you can't really have a loser in kindergarten but um, I wasn't like awkward you know what I mean so I loved to draw I loved to color and I was really really into that um, I loved the way colors look together i really like to color in um, coloring pages with my mom so of course when you get to school you're dealing with other kids and they can be mean well this one girl and i, I don't know if i had a crush on her or something but she like sticks in my mind um but this one girl when i had colored a picture for her she was like oh that looks really bad it's stupid you're a really bad color you're really bad at drawing never draw again and I for a long time let that get to me um, it wasn't that like that like it scarred me or something like that I just I was like ah, oh, you know I'm not really good at drawing or coloring or anything like that I shouldn't try it all this stuff and um, so I never did it. So even today, if I try and draw, it looks horrid. It looks like a kindergartner's drawing. And that's because I, I really haven't drawn much since I was that old. And it's kind of sad. But you need to remember when you say things, even as little as at that, that age, uh, things like that make it have a huge impact on people's lives now moving forward when I first started Minecraft I was horrible at building um, like the worst complete and total disaster but as I started to build more and I got this desire to, to actually be a builder because of B double O um, I started to learn what looks good, what doesn't look good, what I should do, what I shouldn't do. And the more I did it, the more I loved it. And now, of course, I'm not by any stretch the best. Um, I'm not by any stretch. I wouldn't even consider myself uh, a good builder. I would say that I am all right. Do I have any gravel? I can't believe I'm looking for gravel. <sighs> okay. Well, I do want to smelt up a little bit of cobble. Um, but if I had let that girl dictate my life, I probably wouldn't be here. Just because I was so affected and to be truthfully honest with you guys, um, truthfully honest, that really shouldn't be paired together. That's a little redundant. Um, to be honest with you guys, I, I just feel like literally 
that moment had a huge impact on my life. As much as I want to say it didn't, as much as I want to say that I um, am not still affected by it to this day, it does. Uh, if somebody was to say, hey, draw a picture, the first thing that I say is, oh, I'm not good at drawing. I, truthfully, it's because I'm not good at drawing. But, um, you know, that what that person said, and she was a kindergartner, I was a kindergartner, what she said still has an impact on my life. Um, like I said, kind of sad that even today, some stupid kindergartner who probably now, if I met them, would feel really bad about what happened, really bad at uh, what, I, what she said to me. Um, I still let that not control my life because obviously I'm not hurt by it still, but um, I still have it echo in my ears. So there's two lessons to learn from this. First of all is if you are at a point in your life where you're like, oh, I'm just not good at this. I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't try. Um, or if you're at this point where you're saying, uh, where people are telling you no, you're no good at something, uh, you know, think a little bit. Think about, well, maybe I, maybe I am good at it. Maybe... I need practice. Um, you're you're probably not a natural. I am not a natural builder. Uh, certainly, I can't draw naturally. Some people can just put the pen to the paper and be like, "Bam! What now, son?" That's not me. Not at all. Uh, so I have to rely on what little I know about drawing and and learn what does look good from experimenting and that's all I've ever done so for some of you guys that are like oh Jay you're such a good builder well the reason why I'm a good builder if you want to say that I'm a good builder is because I've spent countless hours and too many nights building and, and trying to find what looks good and, and getting frustrated with certain things and um, I spent some time on the Mithrinchia server uh, being challenged to build better, having people criticize my builds and tell me things like, well, this is okay, but it's just average. And I didn't give up that time through. I could have at any point said, you know, I suck at building, I'm just going to quit. But I didn't. I said, you know what, maybe I do stink right now, maybe I do suck, but I just need to work on it. I just need to work at it, and then I will be a better builder, and I will find what looks good, and I will find out and train myself to find um, what looks good. And when I find it, I'll lock on to it, and I'll keep doing it. So I feel like there's a lot of stuff like that going around um one of the things i did over christmas break instead of uh recording which i should have done uh, is i spent a lot of time watching x factor auditions um, for like singing that's like american idol type things just to because it was entertaining to see people uh, try and sing and fail and you know you, you look at at that and i came to realize at that moment, some people's dreams are being shattered. Literally gone. They had a dream. They thought they knew what they wanted to do with their life. And now that's all gone. And I just thought about like, you know, I mean, I agree. Some of those guys were terrible singers. But maybe they could work on it. Maybe they could be better and... Obviously, these people are producers, they're singers, they're looking for something specific, uh, and you have to be gifted. But for someone that isn't gifted, um, you know, you can work on it, you can be better, and 
you're selling yourself short if you think, oh, I'm never good. I'm never going to be good enough to, to do this or that. So, you know, don't feel like, oh, I'm the best. Um, no one is the best because there's always going to be someone better than you, I promise. But think about your life. Think about the mean things people have said and dig deep inside of yourself and say, I don't care if it's true or not. This is what I want to do with my life and do it. Because that right there is so powerful. No one in this world can tell you that you can't do it. Um, now, maybe some people, someday you'll out, out grow out of your dream um, or some ambition. I think that's something that's going to happen with a lot of people in Minecraft. Uh, you might be like, one day think, oh, remember that time when I tried to be a Let's Player? Um, or remember that time when I tried to start up a vlog channel? That's stuff that I have said, not the Let's Play channel, of course, because I'm doing Let's Plays, but, um, you know, when I was a kid, I actually was in a band, and, um, we played one gig, and we were actually weren't too bad, but, uh, when I was in that band, it was the coolest feeling ever, and I felt like I was gonna be successful, and we were gonna hit it big one day, and I was gonna play in front of crowds of thousands and millions of people, and you know, I look back on that, and I'm like, I'm glad that never happened to me because I now have no desire to be in that spot. Uh, and you may look back on a dream you have now and say that, but because I did that, I play drums, and I'm better than I would have ever been if I had just said, uh, you know, cool, I play drums, but I'm not that great. I'm not going to ever put myself out there, you know? Because that was my dream. At one point, I was like, I really want really want to be um, a really good drummer, and I want to one day be in a big band, you know? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the talk. Just telling you guys that don't be quick to give up on your dreams um, and don't let other people tell you that you're not good enough at something. Figure it out for yourself. If you're not good at something and you don't want to be good at it, then it's okay. It's okay to be like, I am not good at this. But if you want to be good at it, if it's your dream, then don't let anybody bring you down. Keep trying. Because you will, you might not succeed at your dream, but you you can at least say that you tried, and that's probably the most important thing. So, anyways, I think this road looks good, and I think we got a lot of progress done today. Um, I'm gonna continue to wrap it around, and we're actually gonna go around here. I learned something new today. Um, this still goes on today in some places, but there's a way of farming where they burn down the forest and then use the ashes um, to be the fertilizer for the ground. So I thought if I cut back these trees uh, and then put the farm, extend the farm out here, that would be cool. When I put the road around, one of the things I want to do is I want to have some um, sort of outskirt type places, um, farm houses out here with big large farms in the back so that's something i'm gonna try and do but that's gonna do it for today's episode you guys thank you so much for watching and until next time happy mining and crafting